Months of accusations, allegations, even motions came to a head on Friday, all involving Judge Amber Givens of Dallas County's 282nd District Court. There have been a number of motions to recuse. Attorneys representing dozens of clients fought for their motions to take Judge Givens off their cases, calling her biased, unresponsive, her court ineffective. She voluntarily recused herself from a number of cases an hour before the hearing. This judge granted dozens more. I've not heard of any judge facing that many recusals in their entire judicial careers, let alone at one time. It's unprecedented. Scott Becker is an attorney and former district judge. He says it's very uncommon for the DA's office to not even object to removing the judge. She has made it abundantly clear to everyone that she has a bias and she is willing to execute it and to use it. Defense attorney Mark Lassiter, who was also at Friday's hearing, he represents dozens of members with the Dallas Criminal Defense Lawyers Association, says he filed recusal motions months ago. Judge Gibbons doesn't have a problem with shaping the truth to her own prerogatives. Attorney Manny Haddad just had seven clients' cases taken off her docket. He cites a client's bond had been forfeited without anyone knowing. You know, it's either we get our cases moved out or, you know, you have to be concerned about your license. The judge has not responded to our request for a comment. Judge Givens has been under heavy scrutiny. Sources tell WFAA she is being investigated by the Texas Rangers after it's alleged a court coordinator sat in and impersonated her on a hearing, an allegation she denies. Scott Becker can't speak to this allegation, but can say removing a judge needs a high burden, and this just may be it. It's not in any rule book anywhere. It's just so clearly wrong that, yes, that judge should be removed from that case. In all, Friday's ruling affects between 50 and 100 cases and one judge at the center of it all. In Dallas County, I'm Joven Paniker.